Cheryl. This is your room. But you're not in it. You know, I think we're getting somewhere. We're all tied up in this marriage thing. Marriage worked a lot better when we didn't live so long. We have phrases like the honeymoon is over to remind us how quickly marriage is sour. You think I'm being cynical? Divorce does that to you. Come on, you think marriage can really last? Should a couple stay together for the kids? Do you think it's a bad idea to marry young? You think sex becomes stale after marriage? You know what? You being such an expert on marriage, you're going to ace my matchmaker test. On the table are six pictures. All you have to do is sort them into three married couples. All finished. Okay, now tell me which of those couples are still together. <laughs> I'm joking. You know I'm just trying to provoke you, right? Oh, let's keep going. We're really making progress here. dreaming? Are you okay? What are you doing here? This place is... Your home, right? I saw the photos of you in the corridor, you and your family. Cheryl isn't here. I'm sorry. The woman said Cheryl was at the lighthouse. The lighthouse closed down years ago. No, I need to go there. John and I can drive you there. We'll take the lake road. Thank you. So you're Harry. John. Well, don't mind me. I'm sure you two have lots of catching up to do. John, don't be silly. Nice car you got, John. I always wanted one of these. But when Cheryl was born, we graduated to the family car club. Trunk space wins out over engine size. I'd swap the car for a family any day. Though I'm happy enough with just John for now. Cut it out, Michelle. Huh? It's embarrassing. Uh, I'm not embarrassed. Don't mind me. This isn't how I wanted things to go. It's not Harry's fault. I Nothing mean... Nothing to do with Harry. I mean this. Us. I wanted to make things clear. I wanted to do things right. What are you saying? This reunion. This weekend. I wanted to come see you to talk things through. Talk? About our relationship? Michelle, there is no relationship. Please, don't do this. Not now. Just... If not now, when? Where? 
Christ, Michelle, I've been trying to do this for months, but you don't want to hear it. Now we have a witness, maybe you'll listen. You're just tired. You're not thinking right. It's been too long since we've been together. No. No, Michelle. I was hoping to do this right, but I need to do it. We've been running on empty for a long time. Living on fumes. It isn't a relationship, it's a courtesy. If I still love you, it can't be over. It is! You don't love me. You love the John in your head. Please. I can't listen to this. I can't do this anymore.
Hey. Dahlia, what... I don't want to talk about it. Not over the phone. What happened last... I'll see you soon. This is Michelle's phone. Sorry I can't answer right now. Um, speak to you later. Cheryl? Daddy? You shouldn't come. No, sweetie, it's I... It's not safe. Please, don't come. Changed a bit. Well, I guess. Have you seen the lake? Come on, let's go. She's got the right idea. Let's just go with the flow. We're on vacation. Hey, wait up!
fully suspended due to the weather. This includes our Toluca party cruise. Uh, at this time, we cannot refund ticket holders. We're sorry, but the weather is outside of our control and our insurance does not cover us. We know it sucks. It's over, John and me. I don't think he's loved me for a long time. I was in love with an idea of this person. But that wasn't John. Eh, what a waste. You know, I should have realized when he said he wanted to be a lawyer. You're still headed for the lighthouse? Yeah. You'll need a boat to cross the lake. They often moor at the jetty behind the amusement park. Head through the alley out back, you'll see it. I used to go there with John. I doubt it's as exciting as I remember it. Are you sure you want to go, Harry? It's all I got. Something feels wrong. She's there. I know it this time. I'll get my answers. You might not like them. We're getting deep in it now. I can almost taste it. All this talking, and we still haven't touched on the sex thing. That's what you're thinking. Aren't all psychiatrists supposed to be obsessed with sex? It's not us. It's you. You're obsessed with not having sex. Come on. Let's have some fun. See the pictures on the table? I want you to divide them up. The ones you think are a sexual symbol go on the left, the ones that aren't, the right. Done. None of them? Now you're screwing with me. You're in denial about sex. Sex and death. Sex is death. It's a leap into the void. The great loss of self. The tiger in space. A plea for annihilation. To deny sex is to deny death itself. You know, people who are getting enough don't need analysis. You clearly are not getting enough. Let's see this through to the end. 